quick question. Is this wood? Hmm. Very bright out here. So bright, I'm a little bit confused because it's out in the sun, it's exposed to the rain. This wouldn't be wood. It wouldn't be vinyl. It wouldn't be laminate. So what could it be? Let's get into this. Seems like I've crossed over into tile heaven. Not necessarily the place I usually hang out. I'm usually wood, vinyl, laminates and all that good woody stuff. But there's some tiles here that are really starting to catch my eye. And I want to know a little bit more because today is an international tile day. So let's go and find out a little bit more about what's so exciting at one of the most reputable tile studios in the Western Cape, Studio Mason. Hi. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you so much for letting me come into uh, your studio here. Uh, obviously, Studio Mason, one of the, the most respected studios in the Western Cape. Um, I am feeling very uncomfortable at the moment because I'm a wood and laminate and vinyl kind of guy, and that is my historic, but today is National Tile Day, and I want to know a little bit more about this stuff because this is beautiful. I've heard a lot about it, but I know absolutely nothing with regards to the technical attributes of what it actually delivers. And many a time our customers, our shared customers, they use this and wood to complement one another. Can you tell me a little bit more about it? Yeah. Like just why is it so popular? Why is it so good? Nowadays with the technology that's available um, in the porcelain industry, they have been able to reproduce um, aesthetically something that is quite close to almost identical, let's say. This looks to, like real yeah, wood. Like real wood, yeah. So you can feel it. There's texture on the surface. Yeah. Um, there is a variety of colors that's available uh, of effects. So you can have a rougher effect or a smoother effect. And uh, the real advantage of uh, using a, a, a real wood or laminate wood is that you have all the technical uh, benefits of a porcelain. So basically the floor is scratch resistant, uh, it is UV resistant, it is stain resistant, it is it, re it resists anything basically. So you can literally, uh, it's water resistant. So if you have a flat, you don't have a problem. So when you talk about resistance, and what I know, like I, I can hear my viewers saying, just like, well, you know, laminate floor has a scratch resistance. I think this is where you yeah. can take a steak knife and drag it across the Absolutely. surface, yeah. Yeah. and it's not going to do anything. Where I think if you have to do that with a real wood or yeah. a laminate or a vinyl, yeah. you're going to have a problem. Absolutely. You can put this in a shopping center. In a shopping yeah. center. So I eat commercial. Yeah. It's going to do the trick. Yeah. Now, you were telling me uh, something offline with regards to the color. If I did happen yeah. to drop a big pan and to chip a little bit. Yeah. Well, that's a full body portion. So there's technical differences in what's available in the market. Yeah. You have ceramics that have a, either a red body or a gray body. Yes. And then you've got full body porcelain. 
you can see the color in the body is, uh, is right through. Um, so the color goes all the way through. So even if you had to chip a little bit, it's like a solid wood, you, you'd be able to uh, either live with it or you'd be able to yeah, have a pretty good end result. Firstly, um, you shouldn't chip like uh, a glaze style because you're a lot more sensitive to chipping. Yes. Because you've got a brittle surface and then a harder body underneath. Well, this is a full body, so the impact resistance of this is much higher to start with. Uh, so once, if it's been made correctly, there's no air pockets underneath, you can drop pretty much uh, heavy things on it without it breaking. So if it breaks, it means there was an insulation uh, problem. Okay, so that's like if there was a little bit of a hollow underneath exactly. and it had an opportunity exactly. to move. Yeah, yeah. So, I've, you know, in the, in the marketplace, we have these various products, you know, we see ceramic tiles versus porcelain tiles. Yeah. And they look like wood plank replicas, but they're actually very different quality categories in that porcelain tile is way superior versus a ceramic tile. But sometimes the, the, the not so informed would look, look at them and they would actually look yes. the same. Yeah. Yeah. And Mrs. Jones, she might be choosing on a color, she might not know why one might be a little yeah. bit more expensive than yeah. the other. Yeah. Well, the things to look out for is basically the quality of the graphic yeah. on, on the, on the, on the on surface. surface. So the, the good quality porcelain tiles are, have generally very good reprodu reproductions of, of wood. Yes. And um, also uh, the sizing, you can see the, the product is uh, exact in size like, like a wood. So it's been rectified to an exact size. So we were typically a ceramic or, or a unrectified porcelain even sometimes. Um, you have to put big uh, ground lines between. Ah, okay, so that's why this is in as well, is because you can put them very close together. So that's what something that I was yeah. actually one of the, thank yeah. you, because uh, yeah. that was, you know, you, you'd see these tiles and they got the big ground line. It's just yeah. like, oh, that totally yeah. gives it away that it's a tile. Because yeah. sometimes when you're looking from a distance, you can't see that. Mm. And this, because it's stabilized and yeah. it's been properly machined, yes. it doesn't need that big tile graft line, yeah. which totally gives it the illusion that it actually is a wood yes. or a wood type product. Mm. <laughs> so, uh, hey, I'm not moving across the tile yeah, industry, yeah. but I, I, I must admit I am a little bit impressed. Uh, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. No, because obviously you want yeah. to be able to understand what the different product categories can do when you're yeah. working within the industry. Yeah. And yeah. there are certain applications yeah. where this is going to knock the socks off any real wood or laminate or vinyl because it can be installed outside. It can yeah. be in a high stress in environment. The in, the, in the shower. Yeah, yeah. You, can, you can, it's like a normal tile technically. So you can wet it, you can do whatever you want to it. And so yeah. there, 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 there are definitely some things that like wood yeah. just can't deliver on. But you know, I'm still wood at heart, you know? Yeah. But, yeah. It doesn't just come in plank form, does it? First of all, we can do very, very large uh, planks. So uh, 1.8 meter long, 2.4 meter long, or we've also got now slabs available in, in the woods. Uh, so that's the latest uh, product uh, that's been launched. So you can do a kitchen counter with the wood look, um, and it looks again, as genuine as this looks on the on the kitchen counter, and then now you can cut, you can throw all your kitchen chemicals or um, uh, lemon juice, and so no worry about staining that. Yeah, you can take a hot pot and put it on there, and it won't burn. So um, this is a little bit exciting for me yeah. um, because I just like technical things. Yeah, can we go? I know you don't have a wood type. Yeah, You've just got a, a traditional. Yeah, it's arriving. It's it's still uh, in a container. So at the moment we, we haven't displayed it yet, but it's it will be here in about a month or so. But you've got the same material just yeah. in a dark gray. In dark gray, in marble looks. So we can have a look at that. Can we go and have a look yeah. at that one? Yeah, let's, let's go and have a look. Yeah. So Guillaume, yes. this is the same stuff that we had a look at on the other side of the show. Absolutely. But these are those big planks or sheets yeah. that you said you could put slabs. And slabs. Yeah. And these slabs can do something really a little bit cool. Can yeah. you just like, what's this? Well, well because the, 
the porcelain is resistant to thermal shock um, and uh, frost and everything I said earlier. Yeah. <laughs> it basically, you can use uh, the same material as a cooking surface. So you can be um, prepping your dishes and cutting on the surface. Directly on the surface. Directly on the surface, yeah. And then uh, later on you can use that same area as a cooking surface. So you, you've got an induction system um, that you, is available from us um, and then you can cook on the same surface. So I could have my wood look countertop yeah. running straight into my cooker hob. Yeah. Uh, and it'll yeah. look all well, that. Technically, you could uh, even install the induction units directly on the, under the slab using uh, some of our products. At the moment, it's not all of the products, just two, because it's a new, a new concept. Um, so we pre-assemble them in uh, Italy, and then we just cut off the, the place where we want to put the hull, and we just drop it in. So this would potentially would be a play, uh, available on order? Yeah, definitely. In your colour, so if it was the wood colour, we could do the wood Yeah, color. at this stage it's just two, two other colours, um, but uh, as we go, they, they're going to add more and more colours, yeah. And then, um, so like wood and laminates and vinyl certainly wouldn't be able to extend into a kitchen countertop that you could cut directly. No, no. And you busy... Yeah, boiling water directly on this yeah. surface. Yeah, yeah, no, it's amazing. That was a couple of seconds. Obviously, yeah. induction heat is very uh, quick. It's very quick. Yeah, yeah. But that is amazing. Yeah. And I, I, I hear you got a little bit of a party trick. Yeah, yeah. Are you, you brave enough? Yeah, definitely. You can just do that. <laughs> wow, wow. Yeah, like I just, so, you know, you so know it's very it. safe for when you have children as well when you're cooking. Um, the pot remains hot, but uh, the pot remains hot. Yeah. But like that, that, that yeah. that's just beautiful. That, yeah. that, that yeah. is really smart. Yeah. This, it's it's a smart product, and that's why I, I think yeah. we've taken the time to actually explore this product. Yeah. Is that it steps beyond the parameters of what my traditional product category can actually yeah. do. Oh, it's boiling. It's boiling. It's that was quick. Right. That was <laughs> what a minute, eh? Yeah. yeah. Gee, it was. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Well, I really do appreciate it. Absolutely. And uh, wow, absolutely awesome product. Thank you. Studio Basin. Yeah. They deliver the goods. Yeah. Thank you. That was a first. I have not gone and talked tech on tiles ever. It was uh, quite enlightening. Gee whiz, that product is technical, it's robust and it delivers. You know, it's not gonna deliver on the warmth that real wood can do, you know, underfoot. Um, real wood is real wood and that's like my heart. But that stuff, I want some. But you're gonna be